Hey everybody, what's going on? This week on One Tool a Week Guy, we're going to be adding to our building our nitrogen tank setup and we're going to be adding the Turbo Torch Nitrogen Perch Kit. So if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week Guy. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is that we're going to be talking about this week? Well, we went ahead and we're continuing our building our nitrogen tank setup. So with that being said, we did go ahead and add this nitrogen tank that we had on on our truck or on our vehicle on our car wherever you're going to be using nitrogen you're going to need a tank for that setup now accordingly to whatever size or how much you're going to need you're going to go ahead and pick up the bottle so with that we went ahead and added that now let's do the next one so the next item that you're going to need if you haven't guessed more than likely you're going to need a regulator now for me myself in my case i'm going to be using it to purge items and also a uh, purging pipe whenever you're brazing and also i'm going to be using it to unclogging small little drain lines from there on so with that being said guys we're going to be adding this baby right here now this is going to be the turbo torch nitrogen purge kit right here and of course the part number is going to be 038 six dash one three seven zero so this is going to be this setup right here let's go ahead and open it up should be everything go ahead and clear that to the side now here we go guys now the most important part that you're gonna have is going to be this the regulator now of course the regulator is going to be pretty sweet on that you're gonna use it to uh determine what pressures you're going to be using and also it's going to determine how much air you have inside or co2 or nitrogen you have inside of your tank now in our case it's going to be nitrogen and of course it's going to have a purge valve right here that it's not to exceed 600 so anything above 600 it's going to open up in this valve right here now of course that's just safety purposes now the way you're gonna know that you have a nitrogen regulator it's going to be a male adapter instead of a female adapter now let me grab my co2 tank right here now as you can tell here the co2 is going to be a female adapter for the regulator and if you see the nitrogen it is a female right there and if you see this if you go ahead and look at the co2 which i have both it's going to be a male adapter right here on the site. So that's going to be the biggest difference on that. So of course the regulator is going to allow you to regulate whatever pressures you're going to need. If you're brazing more than likely you're probably going to be about 3, 4 PSI. That way you could go ahead and braze and clear out that oxygen inside of those lines. Now of course you're going to add this right here. Connect it. That way you can set your regulator pressures. And once you have that, that's going to complete your regulator. Now, the next item that is going to come out, we'll talk about it in a little bit right now. Move over to the side right here. Now, the next item that you're also going to get is going to be a CO2 adapter, which is pretty sweet. If you see right here, this is going to be a CO2 adapter. So from make sure you don't lose the o-ring right here or the gasket that's going to go on there. That way it makes a complete seal. And also, guys, you never put teflon or pipe dope on the threads they're supposed to seal on their own of course it's going to have a ferrule right there or beveled that way it makes a nice seal now of course this is going to go on your regulator on this side right here and once you have this connected you could connect it to your co2 tank if you have a co2 tank also and once you have that you can use co2 instead of nitrogen if you have to so that's a pretty sweet little item that it comes with now keep in mind that the regulator alone is probably going to set you back about 81 dollars since it is a turbo torch regulator so this baby online i tried looking for it and i believe it's about 30 dollars online so do the math on that part let's go ahead and move this over to the side and also the regulator later now the next pretty sweet item that you're gonna get is going to be a needle nose tip right here and this needle nose tip in case you just want to 
throw it inside the pipe. You could throw it into different sizes and I like to tape it up and just keep it in there and purging my lines also. So that's going to be pretty sweet. And of course, it's going to come with a different adapter right there, but we'll get to that in a little bit. You're also going to get a tire inflator uh, in case you get a flat or you need to add air anywhere uh, that is going to come in handy. And of course, it's going to have an interesting fitting right now. But again, we'll talk about it in a little bit. So there's those items right there. Now, next up is going to be these babies right here, which are going to be half and three quarter rubber cone tips. So these are going to serve for a couple purposes. One of those is going to be adding it inside a half inch line or a three quarter line. That way you could turn it on and purge it and it sticks on there. I like to put a little bit of tape on there. That way they don't fall off or anywhere like that, any open lines that you're gonna have. Now, of course, you're gonna have these interesting fittings also. Let me go ahead and zoom into it right here. And you're gonna have these interesting fittings. And of course, these are gonna be almost for your regular, ga your regular, your gauges that you end up using. Of course, the supply and suction lines and all that. Uh, you're gonna have certain hoses that you use and certain adapters on there. So also, I like to use them to unclog certain amount of pipes on there. So let's go ahead and slide these over to the side. Now, next up, you're also going to get this little baby right here. Now, this is going to be the Turbo Tornado Inflator Perch tip now this one is going to blow up kind of like an inflating ball it's going to end up once it catches pressure there's a small little hole over here let me see if the camera catches or right there if you can see there's a small little hole that's going to allow uh what's end up going to happen is that this is going to blow up and it's going to take shape of the size up to one inch and it's not going to let anything come back and it's just going to push forward so this does come in handy and you can use it for purging but most of the times you're probably going to end up using it for clearing out lines uh that are clogged up slide over to the side now next up is going to be the turbo torch uh blow gun right here now if you could tell it does have certain adapters now this one alone on online you're probably going to find it for a good little price i believe 61 dollars, which is pretty pricey on there but of course the the adapters that it has are going to be pretty valuable and again it's just a regular gun besides these uh adapters right here but we'll talk about it in a little bit now last but not least you're going to get your hoses right here now these hoses are going to be pretty sweet and pretty special and let me go ahead and slide this out and zoom a little bit back out so of course you're going to have the blue and the red now the blue one is supposed to connect to your regulator as you can see right here now if you can't tell you have one that's going to be straight and one that's going to be at a 45 now this one's going to connect to your regulator down here and if you look on the inside, it has nothing on the inside besides a gasket. That way, you don't you just hand tighten, and that's gonna create the seal again. No pipe, no Teflon, guys. That's gonna end up harming. Now, on the other side, you're going to have a core depressor, as you could see right there and of course the gasket on there and this one's going to be meant to go over to your blowgun or you can connect it directly to your ac unit um outside your outside unit and then after that you could go ahead and start purging the system with how much psi you want to input and of course it's going to deflate your core or if you pull out the core uh, it's still going to be making that seal and keeping that putting that system under pressure now th the next one's going to be this right here and again this one's going to be meant to go on the other end of the blow gun right here and it's going to connect to the adapters that you're going to need on the other side so keep that in mind guys it is going to be one of those whatever you're going to be using be careful and just make sure to keep safe on there now again it is uh, it is pretty dangerous guys always make sure to read the instructions I uh, believe you're supposed to keep anything with the blowgun underneath hundred PSI if not you could risk damaging stuff so this is what we're gonna go ahead and add now on Amazon this whole kit right here is gonna set you back at two hundred fifty nine dollars and 99 cents which isn't cheap guys but again it's gonna make your job a whole lot easier and it's gonna keep you being productive and just moving forward instead of looking back. Again, guys, if you have the right equipment, you're gonna be able to continue your job and make everything go by faster, make more money. And on top of that, you're gonna be able to just finish your job faster. So with that being said, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Let me know what kind of setup you have. And also I'm looking for a, a whole unit to carry everything. I don't know what kind of uh, stands y'all use for the 
CO2 or the nitrogen tanks, let me know in the comments below also. As always, thank y'all for the support and thanks for watching. One tool a week, guys.